Hi guys, it's Ben here and welcome to the preview of the final game before the first international break of the campaign. It's also the last Liverpool fixture before the transfer window slams shut for the summer. So, Liverpool versus Arsenal at Anfield, let's get into it. So it's of course never easy taking on the Gunners. We did the double over them last season though, a 4-3 win at the Emirates on the opening day when Sadio Mane was absolutely unplayable. Coutinho scored two lovely goals, we were just irresistible going forward. Pretty much the story of Liverpool this season as well, uh, not so good defensively. And we beat them 3-1 at Anfield with that fantastic Van Adam goal in stoppage time, sealing it there. So happy memories playing against Arsene Wenger's men last term for Jurgen Klopp. This season it is going to be tough. Lacazette, obviously his first ever appearance for Arsenal against Liverpool. Sanchez back for them. I mean, we all know how absolutely magical he is, a man we should have signed back in 2014. Lauren Koscielny is back for them too, so they're going to be a lot more solid defensively, you would think. You know, Stoke last week, they were hardly you know, anything to shout about defensively and also against Leicester on the opening day they conceded three. So you can get at Arsenal, but by the same token, of course, you can get at this Liverpool defence. Even Hoffenheim, who offered very little on Wednesday, managed to break us down twice. Errors, again, individual errors. Dejan Lovren, of course, being the main culprit, cost us dearly there, or could have cost us had our attack not been so absolutely magical on that night. And I expect those guys to be just as good this weekend. I think Mane, Salah and Firmino are going to be as hot as any trio going forward this whole campaign. Let's hope they can bring it together again on Sunday as we take on the Gunners, who I think if you were to compare us to one team, they're the most obvious ones. We're looking a bit like defensively. Still some question marks over each goalkeeper. Even the midfields could probably be strengthened, although I think our midfield is slightly better whilst Cazorla is injured for them. And then you've got a lethal strike force, you know, Lacazette and Sanchez, and obviously Meza Ozil supplying them. That's pretty frightening. Should rival anything in the league and in Europe. Same with us, especially when Coutinho comes back in. But the issues are there for all to see. The, the holes in the squad, the strength and depth is a problem for both sides. Both sets of fans want to be competing for the title. It's not something either team has done enough of in the last seven or eight years. So, signings are a necessity for both, but both managers or both sets of owners or whatever seem to be reluctant to spend the money this summer, whether it's because they can't get the players they want. It's been a problem at Arsenal for a long time. To be honest, it's been a, a and to a lesser extent, a problem at Liverpool too, but this summer was the one where, ex where we did expect some real investment, it hasn't happened. So, frustration on both sides, but in terms of momentum, it's there for us now. There's a more positive vibe than there was seven days ago. The Coutinho stuff is still there for us to worry about, and there's still some uncertainty around signings, you know, certainly Van Dijk. Oxlade-Chamberlain is an interesting one, especially coming into this fixture. Is he gonna play a part? It has come out today that well, there are rumours that he turned down £180,000 a week. I'm not sure how true that is, but I saw John Cross reporting that it's going to be an auction between us and Chelsea, of which Chelsea are in pole position to land him around £35 million. They think the bidding is going to start. Arsenal are resigned to losing and they're going to sell him now rather than let his contract roll down uh, until next summer with when he can go for free. So, could be interesting there. Maybe he'll play no part, especially seeing as he has been linked to us and reportedly fancies the idea of playing under the open club. So maybe we'll see Hector Bellerin go back to right back. Uh, or right wing back rather, not sure what they're going to do on the left hand side, I know Kalasinac have been playing, Monreal, uh, obviously with Koscielny coming back in, maybe they can afford to shift one of those full backs who has been slotting in a centre back onto the other side, so I mean defensively they're not going to be perfect, neither are we, uh, but which brings me on to the predicted 11 I guess, Simon Mignolet of course will start, there, there is some uncertainty around Trent Alexander-Arnold, he did pick up a knock in midweek so I actually think Joe Gomez might start. It's what happened last week too with the uh, with the Palace game coming in between two Champions League qualifiers. I think Matip and Lovren will play. Left back's another one. It looks like Milner is going to be a midfielder this season with Klopp saying it's like a new signing which has infuriated a lot of people. Uh, I mean to go from Naby Keita to James Milner obviously isn't ideal. I like James Milner a lot but I thought he did very well at left back last season. I'm not sure if he's got the dynamism in midfield to really make a difference. Whereas Andy Robertson uh, will have that this season, whether he can play on Sunday, whether he will play, I mean he should, I mean he should, he is better than Alberto 
Soprano, so for me, he'll play at left back. Uh, going into midfield, I think it's going to be unchanged. Henderson, Chan, Vinaldum. I thought Emre Chan in particular was absolutely masterful. Uh, maybe his best Liverpool performance of all time on Wednesday night. The same can be said for Firmino, who'll start up front, and obviously Salah and Mane, who are going to absolutely tear Arsenal's defence to shreds, uh, as far as I'm concerned. The same can be said for them going towards us, but you know, I think it's going to be a high scoring game. So often when we say that, it isn't. I mean, we thought Liverpool versus Palace were going to be high scoring last weekend, and it wasn't. I'm actually going to do something that I didn't normally do, and I'm going to back a draw. I mean, I think I've backed Liverpool to win both the league games so far. I think I've backed us to win both the European games. I think even in the friendlies, I was very positive. But this one, I feel, is a 2-2 draw. I can't see Lacazette not scoring. I can't see Sanchez not scoring. And I think Mane and Firmino are going to bag for us. It's going to be a tough one. And do you know what? If you're for me a point right now, I might take it. Uh, we, we really haven't clicked as far as the whole team is concerned. Obviously, going forward, we look irresistible. And look... I think we are going to need to score three or four goals if we're going to win this game. It's as simple as that. We're capable of it. We're capable of it. But with Lauren Koscielny back in, I feel like that Arsenal defence will be reinvigorated, re reorganised, and uh, I don't think they're going to completely buckle like they have done at Anfield in the past. They should learn from their mistakes, sit a bit deeper. Against Mane and Sally, you just have to make sure you're not playing too high a line. I think they're smart enough to do that under Arsene Wenger this weekend. And uh, I think a draw would be an OK result for both sides going into national break. Uh, you know, us being unbeaten, would be the worst thing and then it's all about getting those signings in. Virgil van Dijk, someone who Arsenal have been linked with, someone who Arsenal fans have been calling for. It, do, it does seem to make sense, it'd be bizarre if they didn't go for him at all. I know he probably doesn't want Champions League football but like I say, Lacazette the place for now. Lacazette wanted the Champions League football for a long time. Whether he's there for a long term I don't know. Obviously Atletico Madrid are still interested once their transfer ban is, uh, is lifted but he's there. Will Van Dijk follow suit? I hope not. I hope he's in a Liverpool shirt. There have been some more rumours on social media today. I don't want to get into that. I just want to say Liverpool don't mess this up. Don't mess this game up. We've got ourselves into an okay position in the league after messing up the Watford game. Let's hope we can pick up at least a point here. Obviously hopefully three. And let's do it. Leave a comment with your score prediction, your starting lineups, what do you think is going to happen, and will any transfers happen in the meantime or after this game? Uh, and thank God the transfer window is about to end because I'm quite frankly sick of all the, all the nerves, all the Coutinho stuff. And man, I can't wait to see back Coutinho, but uh, I just can't wait to see the back of this window. And to be honest with you, I'm already, re I'm already ready for an international break just to have a bit of a breather from all this, and we can get back into it in early September. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, thanks very much for watching, please make sure you share it, drop a like and follow my other socials, it's Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook, I'll see you next time.